And in that session, we're going to be working with the group of people that you bring together uh, at the uh, central location. And what we're going to be focusing on is how to develop ourselves as transformational leaders. Now, I want to just say this isn't death by PowerPoint. These are these sessions are highly in interactive. Uh, they're highly engaging. Uh, you're going to find on that particular session that you're going to have to build a shelter. Uh, there are things that you're going to be doing that are big motor type of exercises that you'll do as a group. But by the end, your people will have a clear idea about what it means to be a transformational leader. Then we give you a little homework to do. Uh, each congregation will receive de deep demographics of their community and their context. They'll take that home and they'll test to see if that's really what their community looks like and what the people are looking like. It's important for us to ask, what are the questions that people in our context are actually asking, rather than what is it we think they should know? And so uh, you'll begin to imagine your future, you'll begin to check your context. When we come together the second session, we're going to be imagining a new future for your congregation. And that might be quite different than what you would come up yourself. Uh, as, as facilitators, we really help to shape with very different questions an image of what your congregation could be like in the future. So a lot of our congregations that go through this second session uh, come out with complete different ideas than what they went in with thinking about how they could be an impactful church. Then we ask you to put that into the, the shape of a future story. A future story is an unrealized future of what your church could look like five years into the future. And you'll go home and that will be your homework is to work on the development of that future story. The third session, all of our cohorts will work together and bring their future stories together and share them with each other. We'll share those future stories and get ideas from each other and understand how we can do that. And once those stories are laid out, we're going to help you learn how to identify uh, capacities that you need to build as a congregation in order to reach that future story. It's called capacity building. Capacity building is really important because otherwise you just have an idea about the future without knowing how you're going to get there. And then we are going to challenge you at the end of the third session. By the time you get back for the fourth session, you will have implemented at least one element from your future story already, and you'll be well on your way to developing uh, the rest of your future uh, over the next five years. What we find in this process is it's imaginative, it's creative, uh, it's impactful because there is accountability that's held a part of it. And this is where our partnership with the Northwest Senate is really exciting is because you'll be coached by local people from the Senate who know what your insights are like, who know what your church is like, who know what your um, uh, context is like in terms of doing ministry. It should be a very effective, impactful process that will hold you accountable to getting things done. So that, unlike other church events where we put you together in a room and we make you write a mission statement and then you argue about where you're going to put the column, comma, we're going to have you uh, create a future vision and then we're going to hold you accountable to living into that future vision. Um, what I found was people who have like mind like change and in an, an encouraging way to do it rather than forcing it on people, but just using the Holy Spirit to encourage and uplift people. It was so energizing and so motivating, and the exercises were so stimulating. And they got us out of our comfort zone, but no one opted out. Everyone participated, and it was really embracing a different type of workshop to, I think, help us understand how to embrace a different kind of change. Is there any story you would like to share from your experience with Rick Morse? You know, I found uh, Pastor Rick's analogy of the use of a rubber band really significant. And usually when you pull a rubber band, it returns to its usual position. So it gets back to a stuck position. But there was conversation about how we need to stretch and become so flexible that the rubber band can't return to the original position. We, because if we return to the original position, we're stuck. And we don't want to change, we want to remain the same. I come from a church that has deep-rooted traditions. What I found encouraging is we learn a new way to move forward and to embrace change. Open hearts, open minds. And 
it was really catchy. And I'm hoping that through this, we can open up everybody's unique individual talent and bring it to the surface where they're happy to share their talent and they feel bold enough in their faith to be a body of Christ that can serve others. How has your congregation changed? We have really changed the paradigm of where usual events or activities happen. And we're, we've created a menu where you can really choose the event that speaks to your heart and that leads you. And I, I see the Holy Spirit leading us through all these activities. We now have the opportunity to choose a Bible study, a book study, uh, creative events such as journaling in the Bible, and also events that are attracting community people to attend. And so we're doing things in inside our walls and outside of our walls. And it's really been exciting to grow those relationships and to think outside the walls. I have seen relationships build um, in my own personal church. They're just not members attending. They're part of an extended family. They're your hope, your support, your encouragement. In the parish, I've seen our youth program starting to grow and flourish as we look to the future hiring a full-time youth person. I see good things happening in our parish. I see the walls being torn down and people coming across as one body to help for God's purpose. What difference has this experience made in your life? I found like-minded people who like to embrace change. I found encouragement, I, I found energy, and I'm, I can't imagine not going through this and finding the same thing, and I felt motivation, and I can't wait to move forward into the future to do church. I feel like I'm being called to something new. I feel personally that my faith has been strengthened, uh, and the relationships are really being nurtured as we move forward. The motivation, and I just can't speak highly enough, it's energizing. I mean, if people go through this experience and continue on with it, if you intentionally set goals and move forward and achieve them, I mean, look out, your church is going to be on fire. I really feel that the workshop equips us with those gifts and with those strengths to handle that fire.